In this problem behind me here, we're going to find the domain. So we have a fraction, fraction, a uh, problem with a fraction in which there's a variable on the bottom is a rational function or rational uh, equation. And what we're going to do here is to find the domain, we can't have zero on the bottom. So the zero cannot be on the bottom of the fraction. So we set whatever's on the bottom equal to zero. And we want to solve it. And those values cannot be in the uh, cannot be in the domain. So x squared minus nine is like x plus three, x minus three, right? Difference of perfect squares. And this is going to be x equals negative three, and x equals three. So these are the two values that make this bottom zero. So those are the two values that the function cannot take on. So we would say here for our answer, we would say x cannot equal negative three, and we would say x cannot equal three. So how would you write that in interval notation? Well, in inter interval notation, you would, if we're, if we're graphing this, right, we have negative three and three. So we have open circles there, because that's what it can't equal, and it can equal anything else but those numbers. So we're gonna shade in everything. So in interval notation, we would say, for the domain, I'm gonna write it up here, we would say negative infinity to negative three, union negative three to three, union three to infinity, like that. That's how we would write our answer in an interval notation for that one. And uh, this would be the graph. So again, you find what values the bottom is zero. Those are the values of x that the function cannot take on. So that's how we do one like that.